Welcome to my sunroom and chapter 11. As you can see, nobody wanted to join me today. It's just me and the minions. They're a good group. They listen to what I say. In chapter 11, uh, Benny and Emily have a chance meeting in a movie theater. And Benny, who teaches elementary school, asks Emily if, he will, if she'll join the crowd of um, professionals that they're having coming to talk to the kids about career day. Now, any of you who know me, or I guess if you've read my blog, you know I used to teach elementary school. If I hadn't written a book about a uh, female veterinarian in a cat practice, I would have written a book about kids in elementary school because it's an endlessly entertaining topic. The, a couple of the characters that are mentioned in my chapter are based on real, honest-to-goodness people. Baker was the janitor at one of the schools in which I worked. He hated his job, he hated the kids, he hated the teachers. I have no idea why he was doing what he was doing. And the other little character who's based on a student in my class is Jimmy Henderson. Uh, Jimmy Henderson was kind of a funny little guy because he, he came to me midway through the season and if ever there was a grade five nerd, that was Jimmy Henderson. Jimmy was a little on the chubby side, but not fat. He usually wore corduroy pants that were halfway up his legs. Nothing ever fit. He had a goofy haircut. Oh, Stan's joined us. <laughs> hey, buddy. Where was I? Right, Jimmy Henderson. Anyway, just a really goofy little kid that just didn't fit any of the norms. But he was very popular, and he was very popular because he was a nice kid. He was respectful and friendly, and he treated all the kids well, even though he was, you know, totally out of fashion. He was a computer genius, and the kids just respected that so much about him. He was ahead of his time. Stanley. I think Stanley was a little jealous that the minions are getting all the attention today. Plus, I have many treats, so Stanley. Psst, psst, psst. Yeah, he's for being a good boy. Anyway, back to Jimi Henderson. I was always kind of fascinated by Jimmy because um, most kids in elementary school, as they start to get into the upper grades, they're very uh, conscious of clothes and relationships and doing the right thing. And it amazed me that Jimmy was so popular, and I'm really glad he was. He's probably the head of some big organization today, but I just thought it would be interesting to, to use his character in a story. And the only other thing I have to add is that in this chapter mentioned is made of a cat named Holy shit. <laughs> I'll spell it for you. H-O-L-E-E-S-C-H-I-T-T. -T. And he was a Siamese cat, and it is the most perfect name for a cat I've ever heard in my life, so I had to include that in the chapter. So, uh, I guess we will see you next week for Chapter 12. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we'll be outside in Katopian. It'll be nice and sunny.